five, four, three, two, one. Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of the David Ng Show. Today, I'm glad to nail down Mr. Matt Lamb, one of the topmost agents in Propnex. He's young, he's talented, and only one of the 14 millionaires of 2019. Hello, Matt. Hey, hey, everybody. How are you doing today? Ah, oh, fantastic. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to get you down here. Yeah, uh, well, pleasure. first of all, it's great to have you here. And this is a wonderful office you have. You've got a really good uh, good theme here. I, I see on the wall so many uh, accolades, so many trophies, and a lot of Marvel characters. You're a big fan of Marvel? Yeah, actually, I'm um, not exactly a big fan, but kind of have kind of have a few idols inside there right, right so like I, iron man and spider-man these were always my childhood superheroes do you collect the comics or the figurines? Um, no not exactly i only look at watch the animated series and all right now matt uh you're in, in side pop next you are matt lamb this really great achieving idol that so many people look up to uh but you know your, your story is, isn't like that it was many years you were uh, just Matt Lamb, the uh, the the just renter. Just a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's tell about your story. All right. So actually, I was in uh, Orange Tea. I was I started off my career as a NUS student as well. Yep. Um, I was doing electrical engineering in NUS back in 2010, and uh, what I wanted and I aspired for was actually to have a good, let's say income, not income, but good safe reserve funds all right reserve funds inside my bank account compared to my peers at that time how old were we then 21 21 uh -huh. 21 just after ns right right so i had that aspiration that i wanted to, ha to have a bigger bank account than many of my peers and i was back then doing national team fencing as well so i was thinking apart from part-time jobs is there any other way that i can get this kind of money as fast as possible that first mover's advantage that I can have as a 21-year-old boy by the time I graduate in 24, 25. Right. All right. So I started off because of the uh, national team commitments. I couldn't actually do a contractual job. So I went, I went for that kind of temporary job such as a telemarketing. And just so happened that telemarketing was for a real estate firm, a real estate director. And back then, how I actually got into real estate was uh, he didn't want to pay my salary. Okay. And, and he ended up uh, converting me into a real estate agent. Wow. And uh, that time we didn't have CA uh, license and mm. all of this. We didn't re really have to take a test. So the minute I turned 21, in order to not pay me anymore, he converted me into an agent. And after being an agent, he used half of my commission right. that I give to him as a mentorship fee. Wow. To give it back to me as the salary that he owed me. Wow, that's interesting. All right, so that's how I actually got into real estate. So were you, were you young and naive at that time? Yes, I was very young and naive at that time. In fact, to me, because I haven't seen the big money yet, mm. um, I was having that extra $800, although I could have earned $1,600 from a simple rental, yep. uh, I was pretty contented and very happy by, I mean, back then, same like every other guy. Well, the simplicity of being young. Yeah, ignorance is bliss. That's fantastic. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So, from there, how did you move on from... Uh, at which point did you realize that maybe you could do this yourself? Right. Actually, along the way, I felt that I could have achieved a lot more. But uh, being naive and simple at that time, actually, I wanted something more stable because I was brought up in that kind of environment. I was brought up in a stable environment. My parents' uh, upbringing and instilled in me that kind of stability rather than just coming into a commission job where it's very unstable in that sense. And uh, from there, I actually wanted to quit, um, to leave real estate and look for something more stable right. and more secure. Right, right, right. Because that was the way I was brought up. And uh, what actually stopped me from doing so was actually one day I was running a high fever. Uh, and I just, I mean, I took some antibiotics, the symptoms cleared. And I just went on for my rental viewing. And mm. just by stepping out and doing that one viewing, I earned $2,000. I mean right. Back then, for a for 21-year-old boy, $2,000 is kind of impressive la, for that's, me. La. That's a lot of money. Yeah, back then. And then I was saying, like, hey, this job, I definitely cannot clear. Definitely, I can't clear it. Yeah. I said, I cannot leave this job. Yeah, I got to, yeah. Put it closer. Right. So, yeah, I definitely cannot leave this job. And from there, I started thinking of different ways and ideas. How can I actually improve myself in this career? And that was when I started uh, exploring other options 